Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss one of the important topic of this chapter light reflection and refraction that is ray diagram. Ray diagrams of convex lens. If you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe the channel and visit our website www.winpointonlineclasses.com and support us for providing free online classes to everyone. Let's start the discussion. First diagram is ray diagram number 1. The object is at infinity. Here there is a convex lens and there is an optic center. This is the optic center and this line is principal axis. Right? Now we are going to measure the distance because the distance between the points should be equal. Means the distance between optic center and F1, distance between F1 and 2F1, distance between F2 and optic center and distance between F2 and 2F2. These distances should be equal. Here there is a point. It is optic center O. This point is optic center O. This point is F1. Here you can see it is F1. This point is 2F1. When we are measure, when we are marking this distance, the distance between the points should be equal. Here you can see it is F2. This point is F2, and this point is 2F2. Here I took 2 centimeter. Distance between the points are 2 centimeter. Between 2F1 and F1. the distance is 2 cm between f1 and optic center the distance is 2 cm f2 and 2f2 distance is 2 cm and optic center and f2 the distance is 2 cm the object the position of object is at infinity right the position is at infinity so we are considering number of rays some light rays which are parallel to this principal axis the light rays should be parallel to this principal axis we are considering this number of rays these all rays are parallel to principal axis here you can see all the light rays are parallel to this principal axis right when the light ray is parallel to the principal axis what is going to happen that light ray will converge convex lens is a converging lens and all the light ray will concentrate at a particular point you can see all the light ray is concentrating at a particular point that is focus when the object is at infinity we are going to get the image at focus here we are getting an image this image is highly diminished real image inverted image and image is formed at f2 now we can discuss the properties of image position of image position of object at infinity properties of image first property image is formed at focus when we are placing an object at the at infinity the image will be at focus real and inverted image and highly diminished image these are the properties of image formed by convex lens when the object is at infinity now we can go for the second ray diagram Ray diagram number two. Object is beyond two f one. The position of object is beyond two f one. We are going to draw the ray diagram. It is a convex lens. We are marking the point optic center O, which is denoted by the letter O. And there is an imaginary line passing through this optic center. It is principal axis. And we are going to measure the distance between f one and optic center. When we are marking points, all the points, the distances between the points should be equal. From here, we are taking two centimeter. We are marking next point. it is f1 from there we are taking 2 cm again we are marking the point 2f1 right and this side in this side it is optic center from here we are making we are taking a distance of 2 cm we are marking f2 and from this point we are taking another 2 cm we are marking 2f2 what is the position of object the object is placed beyond 2f1 right so it is the position of object it is beyond 2f1 to draw a ray diagram we need we need to consider two light rays for making for making a ray diagram we need to consider two light rays first light ray we are considering i am considering here the light ray is parallel to the principal axis it is a light ray this light ray is parallel to the principal axis when the light ray is parallel to the principal axis after refraction what is going to happen that light ray will transmit through the focus f2 here this light ray is parallel to the principal axis these two lines are parallel you can see here right when the light ray is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it will pass through the focus it is passing through the focus now we are going to consider the second light ray the second light ray is passing through the optic center when the light ray is passing through the optic center there won't be any refraction right so that light ray will be traveling without any refraction that is the specialty of this light ray we are considering a light ray which is 
passing through the optic center it is a light ray this light ray is passing through the optic center when when the light ray is passing through optic center there won't be any refraction right so it will be passing through the same path now we got a intersecting point here right it is a intersecting point that is a position of image here we can draw the image it is the position of image now we got the image now we can discuss the properties of image right here the position of image is between 2 f2 and f2 right the position of image is between 2 f2 and f2 and it is diminished image inverted image In inverted image means it is real image position of object beyond 2 f1 properties of image image is formed image is formed between f2 and 2 f2 diminished image real and inverted image these are the properties of image formed by the convex lens when the object is beyond 2 f1 if you like this video please subscribe my channel and visit our website www.winpointonlineclasses.com and support us for providing free online classes to everyone thank you